Whoa, man, can't wait to watch this vid. Tilescape's totally rad, man. DM Scotty's Tilescapes, the isometric terrain system. Craft them all! Wow your friend! Hey my crafting friends, I hope you're enjoying this nautical uh, crafting journey that we're taking doing this Dwarven steamship, uh, Icebreaker steamship, and I hope you're really enjoying it. And this episode we're going to do some other details. We're going to work on the uh, steam stack and uh, the uh, paddle wheels for the, for the ship. I thought it would be really interesting to have a different kind of locomotion as opposed to sails. So let's hit that table and we'll start working on those details. All right, crafters, so I wanted to have a smokestack for the icebreaker, and what I used were these uh, wooden candlesticks. Uh, these are kind of, these are from Art Mines, and you can find these at different craft stores and online and that kind of thing. Now, I used the two different shapes, and what I did was I put a wood disc between the two, and then I glued it together. So what I did after that was I used the glue like I did the can and then put a couple coats of glue on the wooden stick to make it more look like uh, metal so you wouldn't see the uh, wood grain so much. I want to add some rivets to our completed smokestack so I've marked around the, the edges of each uh, part I want to put them on so I can see where I want to put the uh, rivets, right? So now I'm going to use these large rhinestones for the bottom part here. And I'm going to use my goop because it works really well on wood and plastic. And I'm using, you can see I'm using a toothpick. It just makes it a little easier to apply the glue than trying to squirt it from the bottle there, since these are so small. And just line all those up and finish up the bottom. Then I got some smaller ones for the top. And uh, you can get these rhinestones anywhere, just any craft store uh, or online. And I'll just start adding to the ring, the top ring there. And this really gives it kind of a metal appearance. You know, it looks like it's metal. There we go. Cool. Really like that. That'll be great when we paint it up. So I've got it painted flat black spray paint, and I'm going to use a bronze, just like I did on the harpoon gun, and just paint it with the bronze here. You see my brush is a bit wet. I'll just fill it all in. It becomes one homogenous piece there. Nice. Now I'm going to use some uh, watered-down black and just give it kind of a weathered look. And I'll just paint this up, and just like I did the harpoon gun. And looking great, really looking good. So simple, easy to do, and looks great. I thought for a dwarf ship it'd be really cool to be self-powered, so I wanted to have paddle wheels, so I used these empty ribbon spools, right? And then I cut pieces off craft sticks to go between the two halves of the spools. Then I glued those in with white glue, and I used the white glue to give me some more time to uh, work with the pieces. The hot glue, I felt it would glue too fast, so the white glue worked perfectly. So I put those between the two halves, so I got my paddles. Then for the outside, I wanted to do some details, so I did uh, a, a wood circle, a wooden button, and a plastic spike, okay? And I glued those onto the center, and then I used my E6000 to glue the plastic spike in the center of the button, so very cool. And uh, there it is all together, but I wanted to do something else. I wanted to do another detail on the outside, so I used these stir sticks and cut them up and kind of had them spiraling out from the center of the, uh, the wheel to give a little more detail. All right, crafters, this is where it really comes alive. I spray painted it flat black, like I said, and I'm doing all the boards in the uh, in-between areas between the planks that radiate out. And you can see I'm doing uh, the planks all the same direction, right? Now, in the center, I'm doing them kind of askew, but I imagine that was a piece that was, you know, a different piece, not the same piece that was built up to be the wheel, right? It's the center of the wheel. So now I'm just doing all the pieces the same way, parallel, I'll just keep repeating that through the piece and it really looks like it's a constructed piece as opposed to one whole piece, right? And I didn't have to do any bunch of, you know, wood grain or anything on this. I just, you know, painted, I didn't have to carve that in or anything. I'm just painting all that detail on and I'm using a lighter tan to kind of highlight it while it's wet. I, it really blends in nicely while it's still wet, right? And just really cool. So I'll keep adding that detail. Add some more tan, and I'm not covering up all the brown, I'm just kind of dragging it through the brown to get some nice highlight on that wood piece. And look at that, it really looks like it's a constructed piece. 
as opposed to just one whole, you know, piece of wood, right? It looks like it's made up of boards, which I think is really cool. And I'll do the wheel. I'm doing the insides of the wheel and that kind of thing. And the paddles. So really, really nice. Really cool. Really liking that. And the same with the interior. Now I'm just going to paint the spike on it gunmetal, and the wheel will be done. Nice. We are back to our ship, and this is centering more on the midsection, of course, of the crafts we did today. And there's the smokestack. I think it came out really effective, really nice, super easy to do. Uh, that uh, technique really gives it a, a like a worn metal look. And I really am happy with these paddle wheels, okay? And they're not attached to the boat at all. I just set them down because I set the boat on this board, right? So I don't have to worry about them moving around. And then I can use them for other crafts. But look at the detail. I think that came out really nice. The wood all going to the same way. Really looks more, much more detailed than I actually did with the uh, construction of it, right? The painting just uh, kind of uh, tricks you, you know, into thinking there's a lot more to it than there actually is. So I'm just really happy with it, and uh, the paddle wheels can be used for other crafts as, as well as all the parts of this boat. So make sure you check out the fourth and final part of this Dwarven Icebreaker. Hey crafters, I hope you're enjoying this build. Make sure to check out the other videos for the uh, steamship, the Dwarven Icebreaker steamship. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And uh, why not become a Patreon member and check out some of my other content for my Patreon friends and supporters that support this channel and my Facebook page. And uh, I just wanted to say, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's not good. I think we've sprung a leak. Uh-oh. We better hurry up. All right, I'll see you next time.